Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode 117 and what we're going to talk about is Fluke power quality tools and the different ways you can wirelessly connect to them, different antennas, specifically with the 1777 and a brand new feature that just came out that I think is really, really exciting. Uh, spoiler alert, it's going to be the LTD, LTE. So uh, it allows you to connect to this via cell tower. So let's jump into it. I'll point out uh, where they go on the tool and what the different antennas do and what kind of benefit that brings to the user uh, to use these different communication capabilities. So let's jump into it. <clears throat> okay, so the first uh, feature we're gonna talk about is the LTD or LTE, I keep saying it wrong, LTE. So you can see this comes with the Wi-Fi slash blue, um, Bluetooth, low energy, um, port in here but there's a second port and this port is going to be for uh, the LTE version um, so you can connect to cellular towers and this is now available from Fluke you can buy it you have to get your own sim card and you are going to have to do some setups with it where you're going to have to call your carrier get a sim card that's probably a fixed IP address which will cost a little bit extra um, initially to get it set up. I think with Verizon, maybe it's like a $500 charge initially, and then it's just a regular uh, line, so $20 or $30 a month after that. Again, don't quote me on pricing. You're going to have to check with your cell phone provider, but this will have a port for the cellular capability, the LTE um, card. Now, why would anybody care about that? Well, let's say you've got this tool. You've got it set up at a customer site, and you're going in and uh, they you're going to set it up for a month, but they want you to take weekly readings off of this. I have a contractor that's currently uh, has a customer that's doing that. They want weekly readings. Well, they've got two options. One is currently they have to drive across town, get the tool out, hook up to it, and download the information, and then restart the, the logger or let the logger continue. And then come back every week so that requires an extra three or four trips right whereas with this if you have the cell phone card plugged into it you can download the data remotely you can look at what it's doing remotely so making sure that the logger is still logging that nobody's unplugged it or anything so that it's still um, collecting data and that alone uh, should give you peace of mind if you're across town or in a different state that, that the tool is still working. So the real benefit for this LTE card is the fact that you can be across town, across the state, across the country or across the world and still tap into it to see what's going on. And there's a couple ways you can do that. Once you're on the network and you're connected to it, you can use our software to then download the data or you can use a VNC, which I think I have another video on that, connect to it and remotely control it, just like you're touching the screen. Uh, it's gonna look like that on your computer or your phone, and you're gonna be able to see what's happening live on that screen. So that's the first one, and that is big news. People have been asking for the cell phone tower capability for years in any of the Fluke power quality tools, and this is the first time Fluke's answered with, uh, with an answer for that. So very, very cool. The other, um, antennas we're going to talk about that you can do so if you look down in here there's another antenna right here another antenna port and this port uh, is for a gps antenna and so you go well why in the world would you need a power quality tool that has gps well it's not because it's giving you directions it's because if you want class a uh power quality class a logging what you have to do is you have to have a power quality tool that's connected to a GPS satellite for time stamping. And this gives us that class A capability when you buy a, um, a GPS antenna. Again, this can this would be a third party antenna. This device is a part from Fluke. I'm going to find that part and have it in the um, description below so you can find that. Um, but the SIM card you're going to have to get on your own. And then this one, I highlighted in another video, but this is the Wi-Fi 
and a Bluetooth low energy module. And what this does is this allows you to connect via Wi-Fi to your um, local network um, so that if you're both if you're on the network, instead of using the cell card, you could connect to the Wi-Fi. If you're in like a huge automotive plant and you're a maintenance team and you have access to the Wi-Fi, you could connect this to Wi-Fi across the plant in the paint shop and you could be in the maintenance shop and you could log in just like you would with the cell phone card and see the thing with VNC, control it, and or download the data with Fluke Energy Analyze. <clears throat> the other thing it allows with the Bluetooth is uh, a previous video, and I'll put that in the description too, where you can connect Fluke Connect tools to this device, up to two of them, so you can get multiple readings. Maybe you want to correlate temperature or a 4 to 20 milliamp out somewhere, and you want to correlate that with it. Um, but this, although this comes with the 1777, it does not come with an antenna. So you're gonna to have to get an antenna because otherwise you have to be basically right on top of it. And even then it's iffy whether you can connect to Flute Connect tools. So you can buy a um, $8 antenna from Amazon like this one and be up and running. But I will just put a warning or a caveat to that. This, these antennas, this cable is not safety rated. So you, all of a sudden, it doesn't have its safety rating anymore because you have wires plugged into it that are not. If you're willing to take on that risk, then you can do it for just a few bucks, get an antenna. Otherwise, you're going to need to buy um, an antenna, and I'll look for that part number as well and try to put that in the description. Or have an antenna cable, and the cable from Fluke that we're coming out with is very expensive. It's like five or 600 bucks, so it's not cheap. But the reason it's not cheap is because this cable that is unlike this little cable on the antenna, it is Cat4 rated, so it's safety rated, just like our test leads. And as you can imagine, there's not a whole lot of people asking for Cat rated uh, um, antenna cable. So the cable is not doesn't cost that much for Fluke, but Fluke has to pay for all the testing to make sure this cable is safe for you guys. So if you want to say compliant with safety, you want to buy that one, uh, but just know that it is it's an expensive upcharge. If you're okay um, not sticking with the the compliance, then you can buy something like this. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of all the antennas for the 1770 series. And it, for the first time ever, you now have the ability to connect to cell phone towers. Now, what capabilities do you have with the 1730 series? You still have Wi-Fi. It comes with the dongle you can plug into the back of it. And you have a Bluetooth dongle you can plug into the side. So you can do um, basically everything that this does. But you cannot, with the 1730 series, you do not have Class A. So you can't use a GPS antenna and it does not have any kind of cell phone connection so you're not going to have a port like this for the cell phone connection so if you want the cell phone connection or the class a with the gps you have to get into the 1770 series versus the 1730 or the 1740 series i hope this was helpful i think it's really cool that we have this coming out and there's a lot of customers that have been asking for this cell phone connection for years so i'm really glad fluke has a solution now and I hope this was informative and helpful. Don't forget, if you've seen uh, or if you've watched more than three of these videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you liked what you got out of today. Thanks and have a great weekend.